Want to connect to a proxy server with Google Chrome, but not sure how and what settings to change? Then keep watching this video, because I'm about to show you. But first, don't forget to press the subscribe button, so you don't miss out on our latest content. Ok, now let's get started. As the name suggests, a proxy server is a type of server that works as an intermediary between you and the internet, like a food delivery app, where somebody else goes to the restaurant, grabs the food and brings it to your place. In the same way, a proxy server connects to the websites on your behalf and forwards the contents to you. So what the websites see is the proxy's IP address instead of yours. But what's the point of all of that? Well, for starters, proxies hide your IP and make you more private online. They can also help you save bandwidth or access specific content that's been banned by your school or workplace. Whatever the reason, connecting to a proxy with Google Chrome is something that you can do easily, and it only requires you to change a few settings. Let me show you. Click on the menu button, the three dots in the top right corner. On the left, go to Advanced and System. Then click on Open your computer's proxy settings. That's right, Chrome doesn't have proxy settings of its own, but follows your system settings. That means that there will be slight differences on what to do next, depending whether you're on Mac, Windows, or Linux. If you are on Windows, select Automatically detect settings, or if you've been given specific parameters to use, scroll down to Manual Proxy Setup and enter the server's IP address or hostname and the port number in the respective fields. Click Save to finish. Moving on to Mac. Under Select Protocol to Configure, click Automatic Proxy Configuration or Secure Web Proxy HTTPS. Then enter the IP address or hostname and port number on the side, plus your credentials if needed. Press OK and you are done. Lastly, if you use Linux, be aware that the procedure can vary from distro to distro. Here, I will show you what it looks like on Ubuntu. In Network Proxy, select Automatic to use an automatic configuration, or Manual if you want to enter a specific IP address or hostname and a port number. Close the window and you are good to go, unless you need authentication, in which case you also have to open the configuration file etc environment and add a line with your parameters and credentials, like this one. As you just saw, it's not that difficult to change proxy settings and connect to a proxy server with Google Chrome, but if you want an easier way to use a proxy, then try Surfshark's browser extension for Chrome, which doesn't need a setup and it's ready in just a few clicks. If you want to know more about Surfshark's browser extension, make sure to watch our dedicated video 